Hey guys, this is Sam and in today's video, we are talking all about iOS 8 Beta 2, which Apple released to developers earlier today at the time of creating this video. Now there's not a ton that's new, but there actually is quite a few things that have changed. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first thing that Apple added in iOS 8 Beta 2 was that the podcast app is now pre-installed on your device when you will install iOS 8 in the fall, or if you are already on iOS 8 Beta 2 now, there is no longer any way to delete the podcast app off of your devices. This is either going to be a huge annoyance or a huge plus for a lot of us out there because if you don't listen to the podcast app, unfortunately, it's taking up extra space on your iPhone, on your iPad or whatever, and you can't get rid of it anymore. But if you use the podcast app, like myself, then it's kind of indifferent about it. You either are excited that it's on there, and you won't have to go through the process of installing it ever again, but once again, it is taking up space, and that can be quite annoying for some people. Next up, the Apple QuickType keyboard finally came to the iPad. I thought it was very odd the other day when I was using my iPad on iOS 8 Beta 1. I was typing, and I was just missing something. I'm like, oh, the QuickType keyboard. I have that on my iPhone. And I was just thinking, oh, it must just be this app. Maybe it's not integrated in the Messages app, but apparently it was not even in iOS 8 Beta 1 on the iPad whatsoever. So now in iOS 8 Beta 2, Apple did add that into the iPad. And as you can see, it looks and functions very similar to how it does on the iPhone or iPod Touch. Following those improvements, we have some new UI changes and a new feature in the messages application. So taking a look at that, in iOS 8 beta 1, the camera and microphone icons were blue and they really stood out. But now in iOS 8 beta 2, they were toned down to that gray color as you guys can see on screen right now. And there's also a kind of cool new feature. If you go ahead and head back to the main messages view, tap on the edit button right in the top left corner, you now have the option to read all. So if you have a ton of messages that you're just in group conversations or people just text you a lot and you don't feel like tapping on each and every single one of those conversation views, simply just tap edit, read all, and there you go. They are cleared just like that. Now taking a look at some of the new accessibility improvements in this update, we have two new options under the assistive touch menu. So if we go ahead and launch that up right now, normally on at least iOS 7 for sure, we just had Siri, device, home, and then favorites. But on iOS 8 beta 2, we now have the option to launch both control center and notification center from this very same menu. Now for whatever reason, I could not get the notification center to launch, but you guys can see that when I tap on control center, it pops right up just like you would have expected it to. Next up, there is a new feature in the music app that while you are listening to iTunes radio, iTunes or the music application now shows you every single time after you have tapped the skip button in a faded gray text how many skips you have remaining. So I just quickly launched up some ACDC radio. This song may or may not be my favorite, but I'm going to skip it either way. There we go, it says you have five skips left, four skips left, so on and so forth, just like I mentioned before. But it is a really cool feature that was undoubtedly missing in iOS, at least until today. Now, as for these last two changes so far discovered, they are extremely small. The first is that when you open up the Photos application on your iPhone or iPad, there is a new dialogue that asks you about iCloud Photos, just like that, and it will say, would you want to use it? I'll just go ahead and tap OK, and just like that, it is now enabled. Also, there is HomeKit settings under Privacy in the Settings application, letting you know that that is a section that when apps integrate HomeKit into their own apps, or developers integrate that into their apps, that will be an area where you can modify the privacy settings. So guys, those are just about all of the changes found in iOS 8 Beta 2. However, if new changes are discovered, I will definitely add them down below to the link in the description. On a blog post on my website, I will definitely add any future changes that are discovered. So check that link out in case you haven't already and you might find yourself a new feature. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, definitely feel free to click the like button down below and subscribe if you are interested in seeing more content relating to future iOS 8 betas. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and I will see all of you in the next one.